This episode of Death Battles brought to you by Gamefly. The final boss, a nightmarish foe meant to test your skill to the fullest. And sometimes they're just plain cheap, like Shao Kahn the Conqueror. Or Master Bison of Shadaloo. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Shao Kahn is the evil ruler of Outworld, conqueror of worlds, and owner of one of the most badass voices ever. Excluding yours truly, of course. All too easy. Though he did not start out that way, oddly enough, in a manner similar to Raiden's assignment to Earth, the Elder Gods personally selected Khan to protect the rather bleak realm of Outworld. Ah, uh, turns out it really didn't need protecting. Shao Kahn became the chief advisor to Outworld's ancient ruler, the Dragon King Onaga. Together, they began a war spanning the multiverse, conquering the other realms of existence one by one. Good choice on that one, gods. And why did they even think this guy needed a bodyguard? But Khan does not like sharing power, and soon poisoned Onaga, taking the Emperor's throne as his own. <laughs> he now rules Outworld with an iron fist and a giant maul, the Rat Hammer. He can summon this monstrous sledgehammer out of thin air to finish foes in seconds or decimate whack-a-mole records. He is a master of the dark arts and often uses his magic to enhance his lethal attacks or create energy constructs of weapons, just as deadly as the real thing. He has even used his sorcery to manipulate and erase the minds of others. It's like Magic Vegas. He can also access his inner beast to transform into this thing. Quick, make me forget that shit! Right, never happened. Now, despite living in a completely separate dimension, Shao Kahn is well versed in two variants of Chinese Kung Fu, Dai Zhu and Liu Wei, which generally focus on powerful strikes and solid defense. He mixes these arts with his magic for a move set that's all about absolutely obliterating his opponent. He rams people with charging spikes, and even shoots fireballs from his mouth and laser beams from his eyes. And if his foe gets the upper hand, he can deflect any kind of projectiles back with his mystical Emperor's shield. And of course, he always finishes his fights with a brutal fatality and epic one-liner. Shao Kahn wins. Is that your best? He's a living tank, bulldozing down anybody dumb enough to get in his way. He has taken deadly blows time and time again and keeps getting back up more pissed off than anything else. But while his tenacity may be his greatest strength, his arrogance is easily his biggest weakness. You will die. His endurance and longevity stems from his ability to steal the souls of others. Devouring a soul grants him longer life and the inherent power attributed to the victim. He is not a perfect conqueror, as he is restricted to the rules set by the Elder Gods. In order to invade a realm, Khan's chosen warriors must defeat the defenders ten times in a row in the form of a tournament of Mortal Kombat held every 50 years. Which he was doing pretty well until he came to Earth. But even after losing the battle for Earth, he just outsmarted the Elder Gods and eventually outlasted every other combatant to achieve the power of Armageddon. Until Raiden reversed time because he's a sore loser. But his proudest accomplishment is his takeover of Edenia, the most powerful and respected realm of all. And as trophies for this victory, Khan took Edenia's queen and princess as his own wife and daughter. <laughs> nice. I am Shao Kahn, conqueror of worlds. You will taste no victory. Master Bison is the psychopathic founder and leader of the Shadaloo criminal regime. He is incredibly wealthy, socially powerful, and public enemy number one of the allied nations. Oh, so the M means master! Well, yes and no. In Japan, M. Bison is really named Vega. Our Vega's name is actually Balrog, and Balrog the Boxer goes by the full name of Mike Bison. I get it, like Mike Tyson! Why was that a big enough deal to change all the names to... Oh... Anyway, after murdering his own parents at a young age, he was found and raised by a tribe of nomadic gypsies. Wait, are we still talking about Tyson? The gypsy leader took Bison under her wing and trained him in the art of soul power, an ancient art of utilizing the very essence of one's soul as a tool. 
But since Bison's kind of a prick, he quickly mastered soul power and began developing his own, much better version. See, Bison realized his soul was composed of two halves, one good, one evil. He forcefully dispelled all the goodness from his soul, thus pioneering one of the most destructive energies in fictional history, Psycho Power. This place shall become your grave! Yes, he literally weaponized his soul. And a weird little thing, that good part of his soul, it physically manifested into a woman named Rose. Bison quickly built his criminal empire with the intent of taking over the world, one day at a time. The day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> Service. But it turns out his true motives are not even close to what you'd expect. The governments of Earth are polluting the planet and obliterating its natural resources. Shadow Law will stamp them out and rule this planet. Master Bison, he's our hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. His psycho power. Gonna help him conquer the world. I'm a group of guys who like to cook for bitches. His psycho power is immensely powerful and adaptable. Bison can use it for flight, telekinesis, teleportation, and even psychic brainwashing, which has become quite a hobby of his. With psycho power, he developed his own unique fighting style, Shadow Lewism. Shadow Lewism focuses on speed and destructive force over all else, made possible by such moves as the Psycho Cannon, the Head Stomp, a Scissor Kick, and that cheap ass slide kick over and over and over again! As well as his deadliest attack, the Psycho Crusher, which at full power can kill a normal human being in one shot. M. Bison is extremely cocky, considering himself no less than a god, and for good reason. He has been impaled, electrocuted, shot point blank, crushed underneath a building, yet could resume the fight like nothing happened. The only street fighter who was able to pretty much put him down single-handedly was Akuma. But the raging demon is supposed to destroy a person's soul, yet Bison's soul survived to fight another day. Psycho Power has only one major flaw. Bison's human body cannot contain its full potential, and will eventually break down. Fortunately for Bison, he can transfer his soul into other compatible bodies once his current one is used up. But even if that fails, Bison says screw caution and busts out one last trick. His ultimate form, Final Bison. The final bison form unleashes the psycho power's full potential. Sure, it completely mutilates his body, but its sheer power practically guarantees victory. So who gives a shit? Especially since he can always possess some other helpless victim's body when he's done. Told you, he's a prick. Yes, yes, I killed your father. What is it with you women anyway? I killed my father too, and you don't hear me whining about it. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, I need another free Gamefly trial. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service, offering over 8,000 new and classic titles for all consoles and handhelds. You can rent up to four games at a time. That's more than three. Members also have access to hundreds of PC games with unlimited PC play. Go to www.gamefly.com forward slash death battle right now for a free 15 day trial. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Kneel before my psycho power. Prepare to die. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> psycho Crusher! Worthless! Just try to withstand my psycho power! I'm frightened! Rather before me! I'll scar you! That's your best. The 
Psycho power knows no limit! Death awaits. <laughs> that can't be good. While Bison is one of the deadliest street fighters, and surviving the raging demon proves he can protect his soul, Shao Kahn's thousands of years of combat experience, combined with his brutal tenacity, ultimately triumphed. Also, Khan's otherworldly makeup means it's extremely unlikely Bison's soul could possess him if given the chance. And Khan is no stranger to brainwashing. Hell, he used it on his own wife and daughter for years. Not to mention, Bison's soul-fueled psycho power isn't the best weapon against somebody who eats souls for breakfast. Shao Khan has gained power from every soul he's devoured. By the rules of Mortal Kombat and assuming the possibility of losses, Khan has consumed at least 60 billion souls over 10,000 years. Looks like Khan had a final solution for Bison. The winner is Shao Kahn. Next time on Death Battle. Thanks for watching. Please help support the show by signing up for ScrewAttack's Advantage program, where you can see awesome stuff like this. Take it away, Boomstick. Master Bison, he's our hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. Gonna help him conquer the world. Are a group of guys who like to conk for bitches. We're in Shadowloo, and you can be in two. Taking over our planet is the thing to do. Looting and polluting is not the way. But here's what Master Bison has to say. The power is mine! <laughs> oh wait, never mind, Shao Kahn killed me. Now it's his power, I guess. You weak, pathetic fool. <laughs>